Hey, miscreants. We saw it on Netflix. Oh, actually, I watched it this morning on my couch. <laughs> Hold the dark, guys, right now on Miscast Entertainment Reviews. Giggles, Mr. Giggles Mr. Over here. Giggles! Here's Johnny! I love the smell of my cup in the morning. Head to the chopper! Shut off to my left I'm gonna make it run off again. This is my You're gonna need a bigger boat. Welcome back, you miscast miscreants, to another episode of Miscast Movie Reviews. Today is Hold the Dark. I'm your host, William Davis Moore. This is your wonderful host, JJ. That's me. And this is Greg. He's been in the sun a little bit too long. <laughs> <laughs> it's not coming off. <laughs> it's not coming off. No, guys, this is DJ Valentine. We got Guess you outnumbered. Toast. We got you outnumbered this time. It's three J's to none. Three J's and none? Yes. That's right. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Get out of here. It's the, the, it's the J Club only. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm a W, it's kind of like no, two B's. No, 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 no. You're in the lower Not alphabet. good enough. Mm. Damn, man. That's brutal. <laughs> Speaking of brutal, Hold the Dark on Netflix. Mm. Dear Mr. Core, three days ago, my son Bailey was taken by wolves. No one in the village will hunt them. My husband will come home from the war soon. I must have something to show him. So you come to kill it? To kill the one that took him? I came to help if I can. To explain this if I can. Uh, it's directed by Jeremy Solner. Solnier? Solnier, like Solnier. Garnier. Oh, it's it's like a French thing. You yes. don't pronounce the R? Uh, I, I heard them pronounce Solnier at a... At a Q and A, so I'm gonna go with that. Sonier. Sonier. I've been pronouncing mm. it Sonier. Sonier. Well, let's call him Jeremy. Yeah. <laughs> JS. <laughs> Another J. Yes. Taking over man. the world. Son. <laughs> One J. <jet. laughs> this dude also uh, directed uh, Blue Ruin. It's, uh, what's Blue Ruin all about, man? Sonier is really good at showing, not telling, and. It, You've seen so many revenge movies. Like, I'm going to get revenge on you. A lot of that movie is just no talking. And you just watch how Macon Blair, who stars in it, who's also in this, uh, goes through the steps of, I got to get revenge on this person. So I thought it was put together so well. And it has uh, Macaulay Culkin's brother from Home Alone in it for like five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that Always good. <laughs> in the five minutes he's in there. Look what you did, you little jerk. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, so it stars um, Jeffrey Wright. It's the dude from Westworld. I have not watched Westworld. I know I'm gonna I'm gonna get what hell for that. What the hell, guys? What do you want from me, man? <laughs> Let's do with Felix in the Bond films, the most recent Bond films. Yes, he was. So, yes, he was. Um, and I remember him eating peanuts in some movie, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> I don't know. There's this weird memory I have of him just like eating peanuts, and I'm like, I know peanuts. he did that in something, but I can't remember what it is. Oh. Alexander Skarsgård of the Skarsgård, Skarsgård family. Skarsgård. Yeah. So Stalin, his father, yes, a veteran of the Marvel he's universe. He's a panty dropper, from my understanding. Yes. Bill Skarsgård, Bill the, it the clown, the weird-eyed Skarsgård. Yeah, yeah, man, he's awesome in that too. Yeah, um, yeah, but he's Eric in True Blood, and that's where I know this dude from. Yeah. Alexander, anyway, uh, he was awesome, and he sucked kind of as Tarzan, but you know, whatever. he was in a uh, Big Little Lies. I think he just won a Golden Globe or an Emmy or something to that effect. I know he won an award for Big Little Lies, which is some HBO show with every actress in Hollywood. I've never seen oh, it. Oh, wow. No, I, would, I, would, I know Meryl Streep is in season two. That's all I know. I heard about it, but I have not. I have sisters. Either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we got, uh, we got the Scars Guardians. <laughs> <laughs> now I can't call them that. I cannot not call That's them that. forever now no, burning Scar everybody. Scars Guardians. <laughs> One of them was in Thor. I have to call them that, so. <laughs> yeah, with Thor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, see? He never made it to Asgard, though. They missed out on a, on a real good joke there. <laughs> Uh, James Badge Dale yes. as, yeah. as Donald. He's a guy you don't see a lot of. He was in Iron Man 3. I think that was the biggest yeah. movie he's ever done. Yeah. Uh, but he's a very like character Couple. actor. He was guy. in The Departed. Oh, yes, yeah, that's he right. Was. Yeah. He was working yeah. for... Uh, he was that flip Spoiler code. Spoiler alert. He's yeah. always that... There's something about his face you just don't trust him. <laughs> I don't <laughs> trust you. <laughs> you know You know what I mean? Yeah, well, first yeah. off, he's got the three names thing. Right. He, James Badge Dale's like, oh... Whoa, well, I know a guy with three names over here. Wait a minute. And none of them start with the J. Uh, uh, uh. I got V's all over, though. There's, there's so many V's that created W. I've got a V. I've got a V. I've got a J together. We're good. I got a Z. <laughs> oh, that's all right. 
<laughs> if you guys are wondering, that's the cop dude in there, the lead mm-hmm. cop guy. Yeah. Uh, and we've got Riley. I'm not even going to try. Go ahead. I know I'm going to bash Go ahead. Can, 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 Ko? Kano? K E O G U T. Guys, it's pronounced Kill. Yeah. <laughs> and and her other name in the show is even weirder. It's Medora. She was in or Mad Max Fury Road. She was capable. Yes. Yeah. Capable. Mm. Mm. The redheaded one, if you don't. There was yes, like I remember yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah. I like the better as a redhead. All right. So let's get right into our review. Uh, JD, why don't you start us off? I'm going to have to read this because I, I wrote some notes down, but I was trying to memorize it and I'm really having a very difficult time. I've had uh, a couple shots and okay. a couple beers. He's drunk. So, um, very drunk. Here we go. <laughs> While more abstract than Jeremy Saulnier's other work, Hold the Dark is a revenge film with hints of mysticism and family drama. The storytelling is sparse, leaving a lot of religious aspects to your interpretation. The cinematography by Magnus Nordhoff Junk is dark and pretty cool. I think think I'm going to say lovely, but all right. (laughs) The movie questions love and family. And also, who is the real apex predator in this world? I feel like I I really enjoyed this movie. You did? I I was excited about it just because of Blue Ruin. I thought it was awesome. Mm -hmm. And Green Room, I thought was awesome too. Uh, those movies had their narratives were a lot simpler. This this movie leaves a lot to interpretation. It's a lot more open, and leaves a lot more for. It, it's one of those movies that at the end really doesn't answer a lot of doesn't answer a lot of the the, the plot points, which which I really enjoy. Mm-hmm. I know for some people that's really frustrating. Uh, <laughs> there are a lot of moviegoers that want everything explained to them. Uh, this movie is really not for them, I think. Mm-hmm. But uh, look, it, it's on Netflix. And if you have a Netflix account, it's definitely a must watch, in my opinion. I, uh, DJ, I, 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 enlighten I, us. Again, <laughs> as we were talking about, I, I saw Blue Ruin and I'm with uh, JJ here. I thought that uh, it was amazing. I, I loved that movie. Green Room, I was kind of iffy on. I wasn't, and I'm, I know I'm in a minority in more ways than one because of that. I know a lot of people <laughs> that love that movie, but I wasn't, I didn't hate it. I just, it was iffy on it. So I didn't know going into Hold the Dark, I was like, is it going to be the blue ruin I love or is it going to be the green room I'm iffy on and I think it for me personally it leans on the iffy green room uh situation for simple fact that for me personally it's not a hard fast rule when it comes to movies that are leaning into symbolism and vague on purpose and we're taking away stuff it's a very thin line before you get to uh my satisfaction is lost because as you're saying at the end of the movie you're not re- if you're if you're not getting the messages in these movies in this movie you kind of you could come away feeling like oh man I, I that I don't feel satisfied from that not that it's bad there's great sequences in that and as we talk Sonier Sonier he's very good at showing not telling but there's certain parts of the movie where I was like and especially when I did research on the book that this is based on where they kind of took stuff out which would I think help fill in some of the blanks of the motivations of certain of the characters in the movie, it kind of took some of the satisfaction away uh, away from me. But again, as JJ saying, I would recommend it if you in, if you're into Blue Ruin and Green Room. If you like those two movies, you will love this movie because it's just more of the same from this uh, this director and Macon Blair, who I think he wrote he wrote this. He's in this for like what two scenes. Mm-hmm. I always like that guy. He's so good in uh, he's so good in Blue Ruin. He's good in Green Room for like the twenty minutes he's in there. So, and I think he did another Netflix show called um, I'm All Alone in This World with e. Elijah Wood. Oh, Elijah Wood, yeah. yeah I, think, movie. I think he directed that one, I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, for for the, for the your money, it's worth it because it's Netflix. It's not like I'm spending $11 and $45 on popcorn to watch in the theater. It's one right. of those thinking, you know, minimalist, mysterious movies. I just wish they would have filled in, not all the blanks, not all the holes, just a couple more and that would have been fine. My opinion on this, you crazy, crazy bastards. <laughs> <laughs> if you're listening to my opinion. We're going uh, like this. <laughs> so like a pie if you're chart. still tuning in, <laughs> William's uh, got something to say. Here's a card somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, I actually enjoyed it. I, I surprisingly did because mm. I, I didn't know anything about it going in. I hadn't seen his other works, so I'm blind. Um, as soon as it opened, I was hooked. So um, if you're into like movies that really... Uh, they try and grab you with pantomime and the music leads you more than dialogue. Then this is definitely your kind of, your kind of flick. Um, you definitely, if you, 
want to put this on in the background and, and do something else and watch it kind of half watch it, it it's not going to work for you <laughs> you got to pay attention no, no. there's some things that happen really fast and uh they're important and if you miss them you'll have no idea what's going on in the rest of the movie i mean i found that to be the case there's a yeah. lot of Nuance. a lot of um little Interview. things that are really really impactful for the story um, there's a lot of misleading stuff, which I really liked that stuff because I like it when I can't predict stuff. Right. When I think something's going to happen and I feel like, oh, it's so obvious. And then they're like, nope, not at all. And I'm like, yes, <laughs> you know, please spank me. <laughs> lie to me, movie, lie to <laughs> lie me. Lie to me. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> you tricked me. <laughs> You're a naughty boy movie. It's like the Kevin Spacey of movies. <laughs> Too soon. Too soon. Yeah, too soon. Um, yeah, I, I definitely recommend giving this a watch, especially since we're coming up on uh, Halloween and we're, t we're getting into fear mode. Mm. Yeah. Um, this movie definitely has a lot of suspense and thrills, and it's definitely going to be a little bit of a mind game in some aspects. Give it a, a look-see, and uh, yeah, that's what I think of it. So um, if I was going to give it a star, it would be like one with five points. Really? Mm, he's not yeah. doing a five star system. See, he's doing a one star. Right. And he's taking the points. <laughs> right. Yeah. Interesting. So it's a full butthole. Too <laughs> Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Someone out there will get that. <laughs> no, no, no. We got it. We all got it. I honestly, I don't really don't get it. Okay, okay. We'll tell you after the show. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I put a picture of it above it. This is a family show. <laughs> Just don't put it over me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Put it over DJ. Wait, wait, wait. I'm dodging the butthole. All right. <laughs> hey, wait, hey. God damn it. Jesus. It's little, sorry, mom. That's what they told me they were going to do. I, I'm sorry. All right, guys. <laughs> Jesus, right. Uh, that is going to be our non spoiler review. Um, check us out on our channel. And if you do, make sure you check out some of those old episodes because we're getting a lot of them. We're almost up to 20. And uh, we got merch, guys, and it's cool merch. It's good oh, yeah. stuff, yeah, where, man. Where's your, what, what, what? Oh, I'm gonna put it on. Ready, set. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, remember, check out those old episodes. Uh, get all caught up, and then hit that subscribe button if you think they're cool and you want to get notified about more stuff. Then hit the bell. And until the next time, which is our spoiler review, because I know you're gonna check that out after you watch this flick. Peace. Bye bye. Later. Are you putting it like through CGI or should I grab it and put it on? No, I'll just take it. We'll when you have it on, I'll just do, do it again. Okay. Nothing's going to change. But i gotta, I got to be in this position. Yeah, oh, so what remember, was remember what you're doing. Well, either way, you're going to get up. I don't remember anything. I don't remember what I did five seconds ago. I don't remember. Where am I? I <laughs>